Mark Anscombe's Ulster team travelled to Parky Scarlets on a high, having clocked up six wins in a row in all competitions. But between players on international duty and injuries, they showed eight changes from the side that beat Cardiff Blues last time at Raven Hill. Scarlets almost slipped up away to Zebra in their previous game, and coach Simon Easterby was looking for improvement from his team, although like Ulster, he was without the services of seven of his players who were with the international squad. On a blustery night in Clenetley, it was Ulster who broke the deadlock in the ninth minute. Yep. Ruin Pinar's kick was good, and the visitors led 3-0. The conditions made life difficult for the players. It took until the 23rd minute before Scarlets equalised when Stephen Shingler kicked a penalty. But the home side were dominating possession and territory, and eventually got the reward just past the half-hour mark when substitute John Barkley got the touchdown after an impressive rolling maul from the men in blue. Ulster unable to stop this Welsh juggernaut. The other shingler, Stephen, was unsuccessful with the conversion attempt, but Scarlets were 8-3 up. And just on half-time, the home side stretched that lead to 11-3, and Lewis Stevenson was penalised for playing the player in the air from the line-out. And with the last kick of the half, sub Alan Thomas, who'd just come on for Stephen Shingler, was on target with his first kick of the evening. A low-scoring opening 40, but Scarlet's with the advantage. After the break, Ulster had a couple of chances to narrow the deficit. With such a strong wind blowing, it was a nightmare evening for kickers. But having missed one just before, Pienaar was on target with this one in the 45th minute, and it was back to 11 points to 6. Scores were scarce, and both sides knew that every point would be precious. As David McIlwain replaced the injured Mike Allen just past the arrow mark, but within two minutes of coming on, the substitute was in the referee's bad books for not releasing. It meant a ten-minute spell in the cooler before he'd even had a chance to warm up. Thomas was on target with the penalty that followed to give Scarlets a little cushion, 14 points to 6. Yep. Despite being down to 14 men, Ulster managed to create an attacking platform and when Scarlets' scrum was penalised, Pienaar had the opportunity of bringing it back to a 5-point game. His kick was good and it left it 14-9 in Scarlets' favour with just over 10 minutes remaining. The South African had another great chance to bring Ulster back to within two points of Scarlet's, but Pienaar somehow managed to yank the ball wide from in front of the posts. Shades of Don Fox at Wembley in 1968 in another rugby code. As soon as Ulster were returned to a full complement of 15 with McIlwain's return, they were reduced to 14 once again. And Roger Wilson hung out his leg to halt Tamani's progress. It was spotted okay, by the ref. Play, Ulster would finish the game down a man after the yellow card was produced. Shortly after that, Thomas kicked another insurance penalty to leave eight points between the sides. 17-9 with three minutes to go. that will be the last score of the night. Scarlets winning at home for the first time since September. Ulster's sequence of six successes coming to an end and they just missed out on a losing bonus. Final score in Clenetley in front of a crowd of just over six and a half thousand. Scarlets 17, Ulster 9.